If you're a kingdom entrepreneur, you need to watch this video. This video is so important and I want you to take a second really fast to share this video with a friend, somebody, a family member, somebody that needs to listen to this word. This word is very important for all of my subscribers who are kingdom builders, kingdom entrepreneurs who have dedicated their life to funding the kingdom. And I just want to get a few points across. I believe that this video is going to help you today. It's going to encourage you. It's going to give you some wisdom. And I believe it's straight from the Father's heart. For those of you who have that gift of generosity, who have the gift of serving, who have the gift of being a kingdom builder. So thank you so much. This is the Brian Romero podcast. I am just honored and privileged that you have decided to join me here today. So I want to ask you a question. It's just a simple question. Did you know that you're destined to reign in life? That's correct. That's 100% truth. You are destined to reign in life. You were born for such a time like this. And I believe each and every single one of you, even if you don't own a business, even if you're not an entrepreneur, anyone watching this video right now, you are called by the Lord to be a success. Each and every one of you, each and every one of you are called by the Lord to be a success and not just be a success, but to enjoy wealth, to enjoy health and to enjoy a life of victory. Praise God. Let's pray really quick. Father, I just thank you for this time that we get to spend together in communion with you, Father. Father, I thank you that your son Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins so we wouldn't live in shame. We wouldn't live in condemnation, Father. I thank you that where your spirit is, Lord, there is freedom, Father. And your word says where two or three gather in your name, you are in their midst. So I believe with myself, along with millions of people watching this video, you are with us right now father have your words have your way today let your words be my words father holy spirit have your way in jesus name we say amen 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 and amen listen i know for a fact that it's not the lord's desire that you live a life of defeat there's no way there's no way that that our father has called you to live a life in poverty or in failure. The Bible says that we go from glory to glory. So even when we might feel defeated, even when we might feel down, like we just can't catch a break, scripture says the truth of God's word is that we are victorious because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. The finished work of Jesus Christ. That means we no longer have to work for our salvation. We don't have to work for our righteousness. We don't have to work for our holiness. Our position, our current position is seated in Christ at the right hand of the Father. And that's where we find our victory. So I want to say it again. For any of you watching here today, I know it is not the Lord's desire that you live a life of, de of defeat. So if you're going through depression, anxiety, worry, fear, I rebuke that spirit right now off of you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're barely making ends meet, if you're living check to check, if you don't know how you're going to pay for dinner, if you're skipping out on meals, I'm praying right now for increase in your life because it is not our father's desire for us to live that kind of way. And also, if you if you feel like you're living a life on unworthiness, of failure, like there's just nothing going for you. You have nothing to look forward to. I rebuke those lies from the devil right now in the name of Jesus. Our father has called you to be the head and not the tail. I want to say that again. Our father has called you to be the head and not the tail, to be a leader. You are a king, a king you are related to Jesus Christ. He is your brother. So it's now time 
to take this new land and live in victory like our Heavenly Father has called us to live. Man, that's so powerful. When you could wake up every single morning with this kind of mindset, with this kind of mentality, that you are the righteousness in Christ Jesus. When you can rebuke the lies of the enemy, we know that the enemy is the father of lies. So whatever he's telling you right now, tell yourself the opposite. If he says you're unworthy, tell yourself you're worthy. If he says that you're a sinner, tell yourself you're the righteousness in Christ Jesus. Those are our truth positions that the word of God says about us, our identity in Christ, the identity that we inherited when we gave our life to Jesus Christ. If you own a business, God wants you to have a prosperous business. If you're an employee at a company, our Father wants you to be the best employee at your company. If you're a student, our Father wants you to be the best student, to have the best grades. Those are His desires for you. If you're a stay-at-home mom, our Father wants you to be the best stay-at-home mom possible possible. That is so liberating. That is so liberating. The Bible says that where the Spirit is Lord, the Holy Spirit is Lord, there is freedom. That means wherever the Holy Spirit can have its way, there is freedom. And you might ask, Brian, freedom from what? Addictions? Vices? Bad habits? Anything that's holding you back from the purpose and plan that our Heavenly Father has for you. Right? Jeremiah 29, 11 says that our Father has a purpose and a plan for each and every single one of you. If you receive that right now, put it in the chat. Put, I receive that right now in the comments. In the comments, I believe our Father wants you to have a position of influence so that you could be a blessing and an asset to the kingdom, to your family, and to your community. Let me say that again. I believe that our Heavenly Father wants you to have a position of influence so that you could be a blessing and an asset to the kingdom, to your family, and your community. Wow. I'm... Every time I get to preach those words, every, get, every time I get to preach about our position in Christ, about our righteousness in Christ, about our new creation in Christ, it just fires me up. It's fire, it fires me up because I believe we should no longer live in anxiety. We should no longer live in weariness. We should no longer live in fear. The same spirit that rose Jesus Christ from the dead lives in you. Let me say that one more time. The same spirit that rose Jesus Christ from the dead lives in you, child of God. Yes, you. I'm looking right at you, child of God. How amazing is that? To know that, right? That you were called to reign over the devil and all of his devices, right? You were designed to reign over the devil and all of his devices. You were called to reign in life, to reign over sin, to reign over the powers of darkness, to reign over depression, to reign over poverty, to reign over every curse and every other sick sickness and disease that the enemy might try and use against you. Receive that word today. Receive that word. Put it in the, in the comments right now. Put, I receive this word today. Look, I believe many of us struggle with sin, right? Many of us believe that we became sinners because of the sins that we have committed. Well, let me take that pressure off of you. That's not what the word of God says. The word of God says that it was because of Adam's sin that we became sinner, a sinner, because of his sin, not your sin, Adam's sin. So let's flip it on the other hand, right? If because of Adam's sin, 
we became, we, we were sinners, right? We are made righteous because of the new covenant that's found in Jesus Christ, right? We are made righteous in the new covenant, not because of our righteous deeds, not because of what we do, but only because of one man's obedience to the cross. That's Jesus Christ. If one man's disobedience, Adam brought his sin, brought sin into the world, then it's the opposite for Jesus. His obedience to the cross is what makes us fully righteous in him. And that's the secret of reigning in life, right? That's the secret. Right? When we receive everything that Jesus has accomplished for us on the cross, when we begin to reign in life. We begin to reign in our business, in our endeavors, at school, at home, in our marriages, with our kids, with our family, at church, with our relationships. We begin to reign in life. That's the secret of all of this, is receiving everything that Jesus Christ did. See, that takes the pressure off of you. That takes the performance mindset off of you. It takes complete pressure off of you, knowing that all you have to do is receive the finished work of Jesus Christ and you shall be victorious in everything that you put your mind to. It's amazing. That's amazing. And it's incredibly liberating. It takes the complete pressure off of you. It's not your works. It's not your accomplishments. It's not your good deeds. It has nothing to do with you, but everything to do what Jesus accomplished for us on the cross. And that's that he died on the cross, that he resurrected, that he went up to the throne room and he sat down at the right hand of the father. And he said, it is finished. All the work is no longer needed by you or by any human. All we have to do is rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And that's how you reign in life. That's incredible. That's incredible. Here on my YouTube channel, we just crossed 3 million subscribers. And everybody asked me, Brian, how did you do it? How have you reached 3 million subscribers in less than 10 months? And I tell them, by receiving everything that Jesus accomplished for us at the cross by believing that he died for my sins, by believing that there is now no more condemnation for those who believe in Christ, by believing that I'm a new creation, by having that mindset that I'm the righteousness of Christ Jesus, that I'm blessed going into any situation and blessed coming out of situation, that I'm the apple of his eye, that I'm his masterpiece, that I'm blood bought, blood washed, those are my declarations every single day. So now I get up in front of the camera and I preach boldly. I preach boldly the finished work of Jesus Christ. So I want to give thanks to our Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father, for this ministry. Thank you, Father, for 3 million subscribers on YouTube. Thank you, Father, for 300,000 followers on Facebook. Thank you, Father, for 150,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you, Father, for 100,000 subscribers on Snapchat. Thank you, Father, that over 8,000 people have received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior via the Brian Romero podcast. Praise God, all glory to him. But, it, but hey, I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this ministry right now. I want to give you all an opportunity to sow a seed into this ministry right now to play a part. Me and my wife, Nicole, we have a goal to see 1 million people, 1 million people accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior into their life via the Brian Romero podcast. And we can't do it without your help. We can't do it without all of you who play a role in us reaching that goal. So I want to give you the opportunity to sow into this ministry down below in the description. There is a link to our website. It is tax deductible. You are making a donation into our ministry 
and you are helping us reach the entire globe with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So down below in the description, you can click on the link and play a part with me and my wife, Nicole's ministry, as we reach the gospel now over 150 million views worldwide on every single platform across the board. So take this opportunity right now to sow into what our heavenly father is doing via the Brian Romero podcast. Thank you. Thank you for our generosity. And I pray that our father increases you 10 times fold because of the seed that you're planting in good soil today. 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 Hey, if you love Jesus, I want you to type I love Jesus in the comments right now and subscribe to my channel and share this video with somebody that might need it who needs encouragement today. I love you. I bless you guys. Um, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me. Join me. I would love to pray for you in Jesus name. I'll see you on the next video. Amen.